go shopping or trying on different outfits. I very seldom bought anything as most of our family's income went towards food and bills, but it's always nice to look. There I was in Saks Fifth Avenue with my little Emily, who was now just 26 months old and in her first week of potty training, when a pair of $348 black silk Prada dress pants leapt off the rack and led me to a change room. Now, I would never spend that on a pair of pants myself, but just had to see how they would look on me. They were a perfect fit, and as I turned my body from left to right, my eyes would stay glued to the mirror, admiring myself in the pants from all sides. You see, what made trying to potty train Emily on my own without a plan so frustrating was that I had no idea how to make her tell me when she needed to go potty. While my eyes were fixed on the mirror, Emily quietly had an accident all over the changing room floor without me even noticing. I unbuttoned the pair of Prada pants and immediately wished life had an undo button as I watched them fall down in the puddle of pee surrounding the change room floor. Needless to say, not knowing exactly how to potty train my child ended up costing me not just $348 on a new pair of pee-soaked pants, but total and utter embarrassment. I will admit, at that point, all I wanted to do was cry. Instead, I used my pain to light a fire within me and decided to find out exactly how to quickly potty train any child so Emily would never have an accident in public again. With my newly found motivation and stumbling upon my discovery between parents who used pull-ups compared to those who didn't, I knew that my daycare created the perfect setting to experiment with what actually works when potty training and what doesn't. What clicked in my mind one day is that for years, potty training had been one big puzzle. You know how the picture will look in the end, a potty trained child, but have such a hard time solving the puzzle because you're not sure what pieces are needed or how they fit together. For the next three months with Emily, I tried every possible tip, trick, and method out there. During this time, I faced countless accidents, and it easily became the most challenging, frustrating, and embarrassing time in my career as a mother. It wasn't until Emily reached 29 months old she became fully potty trained. By that time, I'd filled up an entire old leather notebook, jam-packed with all the notes I had taken during my first attempt ever at potty training. In addition to my own findings, I was receiving input and feedback from nearly all the parents whose children attended my daycare. On paper, it started to become clear to me what methods were effective and worked time and time again for families. Two years and one more child later, all of my findings had been turned into what I believe is the only effective method in existence to quickly potty training any child in as little as three days. It wasn't until I started giving out copies to all the parents whose children attended my daycare, I knew I was on to something big. The next week, parents started approaching me out of the blue, asking, how can I quickly and easily potty train my child? I would kindly give a copy of the guide along with my business card clipped to the top left-hand corner to anyone who asked. I would say over 127 mothers and fathers had come to my daycare that month alone just for a copy of the potty training guide that I'd spent so much time creating. When I would walk into my office in the morning, there'd be a minimum of 37 messages on my answering machine waiting there for me. I was getting phone calls from people either thanking me for helping them train their child in under a week or who heard about my guide from a friend or family member and wanted to know how they could get their hands on a copy. Listening to these messages quickly became a daily part of my routine and would take almost 45 minutes out of my workday. People started to call me an expert potty trainer and I was flattered but it was something I definitely never asked for or planned on when setting out to create my personal guide. Sometimes I wished it would even go away, as there were people who would seek out my personal phone number and insist on calling me at home. I don't know about you, but running around the house after children is hard enough on its own without constantly running towards or being on the phone. One day an old friend showed up at my doorstep for a visit unexpectedly. As we sat down for a cup of coffee, she asked, what's new? I continued on to tell her about how I stumbled upon a method to potty training children that is so effective, I was starting to get phone calls from all over telling me they heard about it and wanted a copy. That's when my old friend inwardly smiled and said to me, why don't you make it available on the internet? 
I thought, what an amazing idea. It can be made instantly available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and to anyone anywhere in the world who needed a proven, guaranteed potty training guide. So that's when I decided to make my guide available online. And thanks to the internet, I packaged my potty training method as a video, book, and audio course that you can instantly access right from the privacy and comfort of your home. This course will save you all the frustration, pain, and embarrassment you face by not following a proven plan. I had to learn the hard way, but you don't. Inside my guide, I reveal the six crucial building blocks you need to take your child through if you want to see results in as little as three days. Building block number one deals with readying your child for potty training. Even if they currently show no interest in being potty trained, I'm going to give you some of my all-time best tips that'll have your child counting down the days until they get to officially use their potty. Building block number two shows exactly everything you need to prepare for well in advance of actually starting the potty training process. Many parents move